Hello, everyone. Again, I'll just introduce myself. My name is Clara Aguilar. I am the Marketing Manager at Orders and Seconds and your moderator for today. Um, I'm going to be introducing all the speakers and sharing all the goodies we have in store on the webinar topic, Mastering QuickBooks Online for the Wholesale Distribution Industry. So first, I want to start by saying, like, how is everyone doing today? You guys can type it in the chat. I hope everyone's doing well today. All right, let me know where you're tuning in from, the company, the state. All right, let's get to know each other, guys. All right, and again, we'd like to welcome everyone to this webinar. Today, uh, I want to start off with a question. If we have some people that attended here that have been thinking about switching from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, right? But maybe unsure if like their business needs would be met by QuickBooks Online, or maybe you're afraid of switching, but know you need like a more, more flexibility in the way you run your business, right? I just want to let you know that this is the right, that you're in the right place. And that's the reason we created this webinar today, okay? All right, so Orders and Seconds has partnered with Sharon Michalowicz from Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions, who will be breaking down the QBO, and that's QuickBooks Online. So the QBO modules, best practices, and payroll services specifically designed for the wholesale distribution industry. And this is to eliminate any fears, maybe, or hesitations you might have around QBO. So we can transform that fear, I say, into fuel for your business uh, with this webinar. So now let's go ahead and learn more about the speakers today. We have Sharon McCallowich is the owner and creator of Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions. She has a true passion for helping others, and that inspired her to start her company. Sharon has over 25 years of experience as a full charge bookkeeper. She has the ability to tackle even the most challenging bookkeeping situations, including poor, poor organization of existing records. Sharon has ex the experience you need to get your financial and business records in order. As an advanced certified pro advisor for QuickBooks, Sharon has the training for QuickBooks you need to officially run your business. And she's assembled a fully trained and highly qualified staff to help you find your bookkeeping solutions that produce the results that you desire. So Sharon, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, I think you're on mute, Sharon. Thank you. I did. I had it muted. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. We're so happy to have you. And now her co-host today is Oscar Guerrero. He's the founder of Orders and Seconds, who has 20 plus years experience in the IT sector within the financial and food and beverage industry. He's a proud U.S. Navy vet specializing in database systems and an NYIT graduate with a BS in science and technology. He took the knowledge and experience he gained throughout the years to build his company, Orders and Seconds. As the president of OIS for more than 15 plus years, Oscar and his dream team have been empowering B2Bs with cloud-based mobile applications and services. Thanks, Oscar, too, for being here today. Thank you, Clara. Great, great, great. And then we also have Jamie Del Vecchio. Uh, she's a senior partner manager for Intuit QuickBooks, who may be jumping into answering to answer like QBO questions right as needed. And then we have Frank Monterosa. He's the OIS business development manager who's going to be speaking towards the end regarding orders and seconds and our QBO integration. Okay. So Jamie and Frank, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you so much. For having yeah. us. You got it. You got it, guys. And a big welcome, guys. Like, talk to me in the chat, guys. I want to hear from you. Let's be give uh, the speakers a big welcome today. Okay, and now uh, let's get into the agenda for today. First, we're going to be reviewing uh, the orders and seconds and Long Island Bookkeeping Solution Partnership and what that means for our customers, right? Then we're going to get into the mastering the seven essential tools of QuickBooks Online for wholesale distributors and the best practices too. You're going to be learning about the smart integration between orders and seconds and QuickBooks Online. Then we're going to have a live Q&A session where you guys get to ask questions specific to your business. And then uh, make sure if a question does come up, you guys can go ahead and submit it even before we get to the live Q&A, okay? Just hit the icon at the bottom of your screen that says Zoom Q&A. And then lastly, we have a special gift for everyone who attended this webinar that, again, I say every time you're not going to want to miss because our partners are very generous, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Um, so Oscar, 
Let's talk about our partnership with Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions. What does that mean for our new and existing customers? Sure. Thank you, Clara, for the excellent introduction. You got it. Welcome, everyone, to this webinar. My name is Oscar Guerrero, and I'm the founder and president of Waters in Seconds. Just a brief intro of what we do. We help a bit of be also distributors streamline field sales and process orders in a matter of seconds. Great news. Orders in Seconds and Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions, we are teaming up to help uh, our wholesale distributors and manufacturers with QuickBooks Online. Our promise for this webinar is to provide more insights about mastering QuickBooks Online essential, essential tools for uh, the wholesale distribution industry. Today, we are very honored to have a very uh, special guest speaker. She's the president of Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions and a certified uh, QuickBooks Pro Solution and Pro Advisor. She will help us un unfold invaluable insights about QuickBooks Online. Please let us welcome Sharon. Sharon? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. It's really a pleasure and I'm looking forward to getting into this so that I can show everyone the wonderful integration between iOS and QuickBooks Online and everything that it can do for you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Sharon. So let's let's get into this now. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get into mastering the seven essential tools of QuickBooks Online for wholesale distributors. Sharon's gonna be explaining the different modules, the different areas that we're gonna be speaking on today, and then Oscar's also gonna be sharing a little tidbits of why these uh, tools are important for wholesale distributors. So we'll get right into it. Um, go ahead, Oscar. All right. Well, first, I forgot to say thank you to everyone attending uh, and everyone helping with uh, uh, with this webinar. Uh, it's been a lot of work, and I, I think it's going to help a lot of our uh, mm -hmm. all the wholesalers in this uh, webinar. Sharon, thank you again for being here today and for sharing your QuickBooks knowledge to okay. help answer any questions mm -hmm. from our wholesale distributors in this webinar that are already either using QuickBooks Online or maybe thinking of migrating from QuickBooks desktops say 50 or any other system. So let, let's uh, get started. First, I would like to start with some context for the essential tool number one. Uh, many of our customers do not know QuickBooks Online, uh, that QuickBooks Online can help them uh, with payroll. Can you expand on what uh, QuickBooks Online uh, provides in regards to payroll? Absolutely, thank you so much. You know, having the opportunity to have everything in one bucket where you're not going outside with um, third-party payroll solutions. The QuickBooks Online payroll automation is amazing. It really, really is. You, you know, now we're talking about wholesale and distribution. With all of your employees, it is nice to be able to have everything right inside the same place where you can enter the hours you can actually apply those hours to the individual employees and it's all automated for you. You have the opportunity once you put your hours in or whether even if you have salaried employees, the great thing is that once you hit that button, it's done, everything is done. You can have it set up where your employees can get direct deposit, which is great. And the payroll taxes are done for you. So they're calculated and then into it takes over from there and they will submit your payroll taxes for you. You don't have to worry about being late because it's done for you, it's off your shoulders. You know, the difference between having an outside payroll service compared to having an Intuit one is the time saver. It's right there. You don't have to import anything. You don't have to go back and check and see if it was done properly. It's all done for you. It's, it really, really is great. I love payroll through QuickBooks Online. It, it's just amazing. And they have different levels. Can, you know, it depends on what your needs are. They, one of the levels, the, uh, well, a few of the levels have human resources, which are great. You know, if you've ever been in the position where as an employer, you may have to let someone go, but you're not exactly sure what the steps are, or you have an employee that's out sick a lot, you just pick up the phone and you can call and speak with someone regarding the human resources and what the laws are. So it's a very, very big issue. 
There's also a QBO app for employees to be able to log into. So if you have employees where they're logging in their own hours, they can grab their own pay stubs. Just think about it. You don't have to do it anymore. And if you notice on the screen, geofencing, this means that you are able to put the hours in and have your employees put the hours in based on their location. Have you ever wondered if your employee is actually working or maybe they're sitting somewhere having a sandwich? You don't have to worry about that anymore. It's all in there and it'll show you exactly where they are. And of course we have workforce available as well. Excellent. So this, you see, this is the perfect information that a lot of our customers don't know. They only process sales yeah. orders and exactly. uh, they don't even have an idea that this uh, can help them big time, uh, especially all of our customers. So I'm just going to ask uh, all of our attendees uh, to write the word uh, payroll in the chat if you guys are going to need some help, uh, maybe with learning more about payroll. So that will help us also know you know who needs help uh, or interested in learning more about payroll the payroll module okay all right so moving on to the next uh, uh essential tool uh all right will you be able to explain more in details about some of the quickbooks online uh customer module, module features since uh some of our clients are, are asking us if they can track how much customers owe them how to set up payment terms uh, how to assign a sales rep to the stores. So can sure. you just kind of uh, give us a little bit more info on this? Absolutely, absolutely. So the customer module is one simple page. You can literally click on, you'll see, you know, once uh, once you get into QBO itself, there's like a black bar that goes along the left side of the screen. When you're there, one of the options is customers. And if you look at the screen here, you'll see all the tabs at the top overview, sales, invoices, estimates, so on and so forth, customers. If you click on the customer tab, you have an at-a-glance view as to all of your customers and what the balances are that they have. You can add jobs to your customers. So for example, let's just say that you have a supermarket chain, but that chain has multiple locations, store one, store two, you'll be able to see by the location, by the store, how much you are owed from each location. It's a great, great device. You can also create and send invoices. If you look at the screen here, you'll see um, two green tabs where it says new customer, you can add customers. Another great option is that you can create an estimate. So an estimate is really a non-posting transaction. It gives you the ability to um, provide to your customer what the potential cost will be. It doesn't mean that they owe you the money. Again, non-posting transaction. That estimate can be turned into an invoice when the customer agrees, you know, this is what they want, this is the products that they want. And then you can just email it off and it's done. So you're pretty much working in a paper-free environment, which is great. No more stacks of papers on your um, screen. You'll have the ability also to have customers pay with a payment link, which is so nice. So instead of waiting for a check in the mail, when you send an estimate out, or excuse me, an invoice out, sorry about that, they will have a link that they can pay you. Um, this is called payments, and it's something that we can get into later on. It's um, an additional feature that you can subscribe to, and it's the latest and the greatest. Um, just a quick story, a quick highlight is that my husband fought me tooth and nail about accepting payments, ACH payments, credit card payments. You know, he was like, oh, the fees and all this and that. The first month, once we turned on that switch for payments, he collected $13,000 of old money and it was done. So, you know, you're saving on um, the hours that you spend with your staff having to do collection calls over and over, them telling you the check is in the mail when it's not. And you can just, you know, be with them, you can guide them to pay you and then you'll see the payment. Excellent. 
So just as something that you mentioned that really got my attention is uh, where you were talking about how to structure, you know, let's say uh, chain stores, like the supermarket yeah. and all the right. different locations. Mm -hmm. We run into kind of uh, those uh, questions sometimes, how to set up, you know, stores, you know, in the hierarchy uh, that yeah. you just uh, say that that can be set up. And this is where, uh, you know, to, uh, for our uh, clients, it's also super important that they know how to set up the QuickBooks correctly. And that's why, uh, you know, uh, we ask you to come and help us at least answer some of these questions, which, you know, uh, your experience, I think, is going to be huge for everyone in, in this in this call on how, how to set up this. Because the thing is, we run into some of our clients that they are in the middle of, you know, uh, that they don't know how to do this. So this is what, at, at the end, you know, uh, I'm going to ask everyone in the chat if they they need help with uh, setting up their customers uh, correctly or if uh, they have any, you know, questions. That locations. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of times what I'll see is that I'll go into a client's file and instead of them setting up the main customer, like let's say the main um, name of the store, you know, we'll just call it the market for now. And then the different locations, what I'll find is that they'll set up each location as a separate customer. Now, when you go to send out a statement, you've got an issue because now you've, if you have a hundred stores, it's a hundred statements instead of having the main store with all the locations on the statement. Because Great info. You know, headquarters, they're, they're going to be the ones that are paying. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, That's yeah, great. very, very important. So, uh, you know, again, this goes back to the point that, you know, setting up uh, QuickBooks uh, on best practices, definitely, you know, this will help. Yeah. Uh, um, all right, moving on to the next uh, essential tool. Uh, number three, the products module is uh, super important uh, for the wholesale distributors. And sometimes they don't know what data they can uh, store in QuickBooks Online, like categories, cost and sales price, info, uh, price levels, inventory data, vendors. Can you expand more on this one? Absolutely. So your products module is probably the second most important thing that you need to track. Um, you can break your products down to your inventory products. These are the products that you have on hand that you can physically touch, probably in a warehouse with a count. So for instance, let's just say that it's um, bottles of Pepsi. You know, this gives you the opportunity to know how many bottles or cases, depending on how you track, you have in stock. It allows you to have the opportunity to make these items two-sided. Very, very important. What is two-sided? One side is the amount that you collect from your customers. In other words, you know, how much you charge. So, so maybe $1 per bottle. And the other side is it, how much did you pay when you purchased the item from the Pepsi company, for example. So you may pay 75 cents per bottle and you sell it for a dollar by having your items set up properly and having them to be two-sided, very important. You can now track what your cost is, your cost of goods, as opposed to what you collected. Um, I give this example to my clients all the time. Why do we even bother? You know, why do we have QuickBooks? Why do we have any accounting program? The end of the day, this is so that you can, you can actually create or your accountant can create for you a tax return. And if you're looking at the big picture, line one on that tax return is how much did you earn? If you sold a hundred bottles at a dollar a bottle, that's a hundred dollars, but you paid 75 cents a bottle. So in essence, you collected a hundred, it cost you seven, uh, $75. Line one is the difference of a hundred minus 75. So if you're starting with on line one on your tax return, would you rather start with a higher number and be in a higher tax bracket or $25 to put you in a lower number. So this is the importance of having two-sided items on your item list. Um, I noticed that Intuit very recently 
put something in that was great. Um, a lot of clients, they don't have their item list set up properly. So what happens is that they only have it going to sales income. They don't have cost of goods. They don't have it two-sided. When they first came out with QuickBooks Online, what would happen is if you went in and you clicked on that item and now changed it to two-sided, it didn't update everything in the past. But I noticed not too long ago when I was helping a client you know, fix their item list, you can now click on your item and there's a question in there saying, would you like to update everything from the past? And you can say yes or no. So that's a big deal. Um, and also the answer would be no if you file the tax return using it as one-sided and you have a little bit of a mess. So, you know, we'd have to get into that. So that's inventory. You also have the ability to have non-inventory. So non-inventory are probably doesn't fall too much into the category of wholesale distribution, but you know, you might have some non-inventory things like, I don't know, crates or something where you're not tracking, keeping track of the quantity that you have on hand. Non-inventory would also be drop ships. So you may have a circumstance where let's just say that one of your customers looks to have a product that comes from South America somewhere, it's never going to hit your shelf. It's going to be a drop ship that would go directly from the manufacturer to your client. You're the middleman. So you're the one that's putting together the invoices. You know, you'll be paying for it and then charging the customer for it. That would be a non-inventory part because it doesn't hit your shelf. So you may have the, you know, you might have an instance depending on you know, your particular line of appliance. Um, and then we have services. So services are not a product that you can touch. It's physically what it says. It's a service. You may have delivery fees. That's a service. You might have, um, you know, lining up shelves or whatever it might be. So whatever you, you do that does not involve a physical item that you touch, those are services. Again, two-sided because you're paying for the labor, that's your cost, and you're selling that service, that's the income. So important to know. Okay, super important. So nice. And believe it or not, we, you know, the number one question that we ask all the time is that our clients are telling us, you know, I have QuickBooks, but I don't even know how much money I'm making per product. Right. You know, so any, anything that you can tell everyone in here, uh, so that's wow. exactly that's exactly why you have two sided because now you can see what you what your costs were on those products and what you sold it for and the okay. difference is what you made so that's your profit and loss by item you can do a profit and loss by customer you can do an overall profit and loss for your business okay so, excellent to know so, you know it's a very good point because like sometimes I'll see it all the time they'll pull a profit and loss if they have their items set up right. And they'll look and say, I'm making a penny a bottle, you know, that it's insane. And now they know they have to do some sort of adjustment and the adjustment can go two ways. Contact the vendor and say, Hey, charging me too much. And of course, you know, we help with the verbiage on that as well, or you have to look at your products yourself and say, I need to go up on, on the cost and Perfect. out there and do some investigation. Okay, so if anyone uh, in the webinar wants to know uh, the answer to this question as to how much money are you making per product, uh, I guess, you know, just write in the in the chat uh, product and then we can probably uh, have, a, you know, an off uh, call discussion to help you, you know, uh, set it up correctly uh, with the help of Sharon. So thank you, Sharon, for that great info. You're welcome. I'm just going to going to expand a little bit. Um, expiration dates are now available. Very important in this industry. You might have things on the shelf that you didn't sell for a while, and all of a sudden you go to sell it. Instead of running to the warehouse to look to see when these things, you know, what the expiration date is, you can have the expiration date directly on that item, on that particular delivery that you receive before you sell it to know if it's still valid to sell. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right. 
All right, for uh, essential tool number four now. Thanks, Juan. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, what can we do in the vendors module? Like some generic questions being asked by our clients are, you know, can uh, we track uh, how much I owe my vendors? Can I create purchase orders and process them in QuickBooks Online? And will this affect my inventory levels? Yes, absolutely. So your vendor list, your vendor module works exactly like the customer module. You have an at a glance view where you can see the balances, what you owe your vendors. So that's quite important. Um, you can actually drill into any of those and you can take a look and enter a new bill if you need to. You can look at the individual bills. Um, the dashboard is great. You know, you have a the ability to look at your subcontractors as well as your individual vendors. And, um, you know, literally you can do everything that you can do in the customer end. You can do the same thing on the vendor end in the opposite direction, obviously, because these are your vendors. You can create purchase orders. You can turn those purchase orders into bills um, and you can receive payment. So it'll all, always track what your balances are. And besides this, on the contractor side, so if you have subcontractors outside sources, these are non-employees, these are people, individuals that work for you, they don't get taxes out, but you hire them, maybe it's a day worker or you know, someone that comes in on an occasion to work for you, you can prepare 1099s. That vendor can be set up so that it is tagged as an outside contractor and a person that needs to get a 1099. And the 1099s can be prepared right from the screen. Excellent. Clean and simple. I mean, it is if it's set up properly, everything is just so easy to do. Something else that I want to bring to um, everyone's attention is that you know, when you get a bill and you look at it, it tells you when the payment is due. You can set up scheduling your payments so that you're not late with paying and then wind up paying late fees. Oh, so then you can set up reminders in QuickBooks Online then. Correct. If you look on the screen and you look to the third one, the insurance agency, you see how it'll say schedule a payment. So once you put that bill in, you can then set it up and say, okay, this bill is not due until March, but I'm going to schedule it so that it automatically goes out and I'm not late. And I don't Perfect. have insurance. <laughs> Save bills, yeah. Extra fees. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So now the next uh, essential tool, and I think this everyone can probably relate to this one as a business owner. And the rule is one of the most uh, super important ones, since uh, we all know that if uh, there are no sales, there is no business, right? Uh, and let me just add a little bit more context to this uh, and a couple of use cases. Today, we work with uh, two types of uh, wholesale distributors, pre-sale and direct store delivery uh, uh, Distributors, pre-sale distributors, they process sales orders, then they create invoices for the products being delivered the next day, and they collect pay payments on net terms or COD payments. Uh, an example could be Cisco and Goya. And then we have the second group, the DSD distributors, uh, which they load the trucks uh, in the mornings with merchandise, uh, and they deliver the same day. They create field invoices, and collect payments on the spot. An example could be trucks delivering bread, snacks. Now the question, can QuickBooks, the QuickBooks sales manual support both of these use cases in, in any additional info is uh, worth knowing? Absolutely it can, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, you have the ability. Um, now, from what I understand, the sales orders are going to be created in um, your software, right? In iOS. So, and, then right. The, and then those can be sent over. So now you have that information in there. Um, so you have that great ability, but then we can expand on that and say, you have the ability, you can invoice on the spot directly from any smart device. Doesn't matter. You know, you can just, your cell phone, an iPad, 
any any um, tablet that you might have. So if you have your driver set up with a tablet, they can just do it right there. Um, and then you also have the ability to set up something called go payment. So if you have payments turned on where you're accepting ACH payment, uh, credit cards of any type, on that smart device, you can have an app called go payment. And if you have customers that are on COD, you can take the payment directly from your smart device and it'll show up in your QuickBooks. So it's not like you have to stop what you're doing, call, get your bookkeeper on the phone and say, here's the customer's credit card number, or you know, here's their banking information. No longer, you can do it directly from your phone. You can also get a little device. Um, and of course, you know, I can go over that with anyone that needs more information. It's a little device that connects to your smart device. So you can swipe a credit card or, you know, insert it and take care of it that way. So you're not key punching everything in. So it's, it's great. Um, when all that's done, you have the opportunity going into the sales module. You can look at your overall income. You can break it down into sections of time, such as, you know, by month, this year, last year, do comparison. You can look at all of your sales and you can look at uh, broken down types of sales, depending on how you have it set up. Okay, excellent. Uh, so I'm just going to ask everyone to write sales in the chat if you need help with uh, setting up uh, your sales module, whether you are uh, a pre sales uh, distributor or a uh, direct store delivery at BSD. So just type a sales in there and then uh, we'll see if we can help you set it up uh, on best best practices. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Uh, essential tool number six. This is an unknown module by a lot of our wholesale distributors it, since they don't know how much, you know, or they don't know much about this new feature. So can you explain a little bit or expand on this? Sure, this is a great feature. Again, within the QuickBooks Online product, you can see your individual bank and credit card accounts. Obviously, you wanna be able to track what you're selling, what you're collecting. Just like your regular checkbook register, if you have a personal checkbook register, these bank accounts look exactly the same. It's a checkbook register or a credit card register. But you can imagine in your day-to-day -day operations, if you had to go in there and you're writing 100 checks and you have ACH payments coming in and ACH payments going out, it could be very tedious to sit there and post these things manually one at a time. The banking feature will connect your financial institution to QuickBooks Online by each account that you have checking accounts, savings accounts, money markets, credit cards, American Express, Visa, Master, Discover. Most banks have an affiliation and a connection to be able to link together so that once they are connected, you'll be able to click a little button. It's like a little round circle that you click and the transactions will download in. It will show you everything that's cleared. If you look at the bottom of the screen where it says books by Bessie and then a rental, that's an example of transactions that have cleared the bank on this particular checking account that they're showing. You can set it up by having rules to automate it. So for example, um, let's look at books by Bessie. Let's just say that it's not a specific customer that has where you've sent out an invoice, but Books by Bessie pays you every month. Maybe it's rent, you know, that they're renting space from you. You can set up QuickBooks and the banking feature to automatically, every time it sees a deposit from Books by Bessie, put it into rental income for you so that you're not sitting there doing them one at a time. If you have expenses, let's just say that you pay rent every month. And rather than you have to post, you might send it, you know, ACH to your landlord. 
rather than you remember to post that every month, you can set up the rules that if it's, you know, one, two, three landlord company, it'll come through, it'll show the amount, the rule is in there and it will automatically enter that for you. Now, at the end of the day, when everything is in and it's all correct, your reconciliation compared to you sitting there and looking at a bank statement and saying, oh, I received $100 from Bessie. Let me check that off on my screen. I paid $1,200 in rent. Let me check that off. What happens is everything that goes in that's connected from the bank gets a little C next to it. When you get to the reconciliation page, you click on reconcile. You put the ending balance in based on what the statement says. You hit a button and you're done. And it reconciles like that. And you're done. Wow. Yeah. The Is it reconciliation so process, manual reconciliation process is very tedious. Very tedious. Exactly. And this will take care of it in a flash. I mean, the, the amount of time that you're saving and paying somebody to sit there or you sit there yourself and check them one at a time. No more. <laughs> Automated. All wow. Just by connecting, you know, and you're connecting credit cards, savings accounts, um, you know, checking account, whatever you have, you're reconciling all of these accounts and it can take hours and you're paying someone to do that. If it's connected and it's set up right, done. All right, excellent. So just one last question on this one, that this one okay. definitely, I get it from a lot of, you know, uh, business owners that own, own the wholesale distribution uh, business, they always ask me, you know, is it safe for me to connect my bank account? Uh, is it secure? Nobody's yes. gonna, you know, steal any money from me. So what would I you hear, say uh, to that listen, question? Listen, I hear, I hear that all the time. You know, I, I, you go online, what's less safe is when you go online and you start doing a web search. When you're in something like this, you have to realize that Intuit is a very big company and they have taken every possible precaution to protect you, plus your banks have. So it is as safe, safer than any other way. Like if you go online directly to your bank, just to look, forget about QuickBooks, you know, you just pull up a web page and you go in there and you type in, you have left yourself more vulnerable just by going on through the web than if you had connected your bank and done it this way, where Intuit has taken every precaution and they're a big company. They don't want the liability. So you know that they're doing everything in their power. And of course your banks are taking it. So it becomes a connection. They're woven together and nothing is getting in on either side. Okay, I'm glad you cleared that, that yeah. question. I know right. a lot of my clients too, they're like, oh, I don't want to do it. I like, believe me, it's safer than you looking yourself. Perfect. All right. So now uh, for the last uh, tool, the essential tool. Uh, and to me, I mean, this is like probably one of the most important ones out of all, because after we set up all the products, all the stores, uh, you know, uh, do some sales, and, you know, basically pay our vendors and everything now, you know, it comes down to now I need to get all that, you know, information out of these reports, right? right. And, uh, you know, uh, basically how do I know, like the questions that a lot of our customers ask, how do I know if I'm a profitable company? How much money do I make on each of the products I sell? How much I owe my vendors? How can, you know, I generate sales reports by sales reps since I need to pay them commissions. Can right. you know, the reporting module help uh, answer all these questions? Yes, absolutely. Um, what you're looking at on the screen is just an overall view and it's just a partial view of um, the, the built-in financial reports. The typical ones are a profit and loss report. Then you have balance sheet. You know, you have, um, we'll, we'll talk about the audit log maybe another time, but um, if you look down into the middle of the page where it says business overview, you will see that you can do a profit and loss by customer. How great is that? Sometimes, you know, you take a look and you're not realizing that this customer is costing you more than what you're collecting from the customer. You can do a profit and loss by month. 
You can do a profit and loss by item. So there are so many different financial reports and what you're looking at on the screen is only a portion. You'll notice that some of them have a green star next to them. So typically what will happen is if there's a report that you go into on a regular basis, if you click on that little white star, it'll turn green and then it will automatically go to the top of the page under favorites so that you can um, get to those reports very easily. You can also take an existing report and you can customize it to meet your needs, whatever your specific needs are. You know, there may be some things that you need to do that are not built in to a typical report, or there may be some information that you don't need. So you can wipe out those columns. You also have the ability to, so you'll see it, excuse me, behind there, you'll see it says standard reports up in the upper left and then custom reports. So you'll have a place to mark your custom reports. You can also do management reports. And management reports are reports that you can literally use for your financial management and have those to give to your CPA when you're getting ready to do tax returns above and beyond the typical um, financial reports that you build. As well as, besides going back to your standard and custom reports, you can set up reports to track your sales by sales rep so that you can do um, pay commission. And it's important, depending on the way that you've structured your particular company, some clients I find will pay commission once they've been paid by the customer. Some clients will pay commission 50% when they make the sale and then the balance when they collect from the customer. Some pay the commission as soon as the sale is made. So that all has to be taken into an account and we have a little workaround as to how you can track that. So it's just a nice little something that we set up to show clients. Great, perfect. Well, uh, this is uh, you know great uh, information. Uh, Sharon, uh, we really thank okay. you for help, helping us answer, answer a lot of the questions that, you know, a lot of our customers had, you know, about if QuickBooks Online can, you know, really uh, do the work or the job for, for, you know, any wholesale distribution company. And sometimes, uh, you know, they are afraid because they say it may be too small for me or they don't know, they don't have enough information. And I think as to... Uh, what we just cover and what uh, in here and what you you know basically told us about you know all the details about you know each of these essential tools definitely you know i can tell you that probably you know 90 percent more i mean of the whole wholesale distribution process is covered within you know quickbooks online so thank you again for you know helping us uh, uh, get more very welcome my pleasure really Thank you so much. Yes, yes. And absolutely, Sharon. So if one of our customers, right, was looking to help, to get help with these tools that you just reviewed and you just gave valuable insight on how easy is it to get started with Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions and what services do you provide? So two-ended question. Um, naturally, they can call us directly. They can just... Um, you know, reach out to us by phone. They can also fill out the contact us today page on our website, which is Q P R O S, the number four, the letter U dot com, Q pros for dot com, or they can call us at 631-379-9419 or my office at 631-402-2499. So very easy to get in touch with us. We would then provide, um, you know, an appointment to take a look at their setup and see what their needs are, and we go forward from there. Perfect, perfect. And I just also wanted to add to what you just said. If anyone was interested in learning more and working with Long Island Bookkeeping Solutions, we have a form that you can fill out directly that I'm going to post on the chat now. So if you wanted to just Fill that out quick so this way um, Sharon and her team could get back to you. 
make sure to fill out that form. I just added it to the chat, okay? And if you're interested in working with Sharon, make sure you stay till the end because she has a special gift that she's giving everyone that attended this webinar. So you're going to want to stay till the end, okay? All right. Thank you, Sharon. You're welcome. Okay, so so next is Frank, guys, I have, as I mentioned before, for any newbies we have in the audience that might not know about orders and seconds, we just wanted to share a little bit more about us and how our OIS solutions work, right? So I'm going to let Frank take it over. Go ahead, Frank. Thank you, Clara. Okay. Hi, everybody. Well, uh, what is orders and seconds? Uh, briefly, in orders and seconds, uh, we specialize on helping wholesale distributors to maximize their sales by automating their different sales uh, channels. So this is really important. As you guys uh, can see in this uh, slide, the OIS solution comprises three components. So if you see on the left side, the first component is the integration with QuickBooks Online. So this is uh, really important because this component facilitates seamless synchronization and data exchange with QuickBooks Online, enhancing overall efficiency in financial and inventory management processes. So the second component, as you can see right there uh, in the middle, is what we call the web portal or the sales uh, module. So the web portal is not only interfaces with QuickBooks Online, but also serves as, uh, as a robust uh, platform for boosting your sales operation. And the third component is uh, the mobile apps. Basically, the mobile apps are designed to simplify, simplify transaction creation from the field. So the user-friendly app provides on the to go or, or, on to go access, enabling users effortlessly generate any transactions. I mean, we can configure the uh, you know the account to generate orders, invoices, payments, credit, any transaction that you can do in QuickBooks Online. You can enable it on the mobile app and being able to generate those transactions directly from the field. So if we go to the next uh, slide, and this is the this is the good thing. As you can see right here, collectively, these three components of OIS solution work in tandem to optimize inventory management and sales processes, promoting efficiency and productivity, and guess what? In just one solution. So in this case, we have QuickBooks that is taking care of the uh, you know, accounting uh, uh, part of the business, and we have OIS fully connected with QuickBooks taking care of the order management solution. So that's really great. You can have everything in just one uh, solution. And this is the interesting part, which is on the next slide. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, if you have QuickBooks desktop and are considering migrating to QuickBooks Online, or if you want to start using QuickBooks Online, we have the right offer to start with the 75% off in this end of year's bundle. So this is basically how it works. So it, it, remember, QuickBooks Online has different uh, versions, right? So in this case, the ones that are more uh, specifically designed for the distribution businesses are the QuickBook Plus and the QuickBooks Advanced. And you will be using based on your, uh, you know, based on your uh, company's structure. So if you go with the QuickBooks uh, Plus for the first three months, you start paying sixty dollars, and after the, uh, you know, the first three months, you go to the, you know, to the original price, which is ninety dollars. And the second one, uh, when you start with uh, using it fully integrated with OIS, you pay only one hundred and twenty for the first three months. And best of all is this, you get the full integration with QuickBooks at the price of $4.99, uh, $4 basically $500, right? And we mm -hmm. have it fully integrated with QuickBooks, the setup fee, the uh, pricing setup, inventory, migration, everything is included in it. So guys, make sure that you guys take advantage 
of this end of year bundle. It's gonna be on, I guess, for the uh, for whoever registered today, so that way we can help you with, uh, you know, with uh, with with the implementation and integration. And the last slide, because oh, I guess we. And I just wanted to mention really quick with this bundle, guys. If you were interested, you can fill out the form I just posted in the chat too. If you're interested, again, fill out the form and we'll definitely reach out to you uh, if you're interested in learning more about this offer today for attendees, okay? Thank you, Clara. And last thing is this, look, OIS has established a robust ecosystem that enables us strategically align with premier partners to bring solutions to our customers in the different areas of the organization. So like in this case, our first partner is QuickBooks, right? We've been working with QuickBooks for the last 14 years. And the thing is this, we make things really easy. Well, our main intention on this is to help you automate your processes, make the business more efficiency, more uh, uh, and, and have the business uh, start growing. So based on your needs, uh, you know, we have partnered with different, uh, with different uh, uh, partners like Badger, uh, Finale Inventory, in the mean that you guys have a more complex inventory management. We, you know, we can work together with them in four lane in different different partners. So the thing is this, you always, always wanna get answered from uh, your business uh, in front of us by working in, in, in having this ecosystem. And we're gonna continue adding more uh, partners that are going to generate value to your business. That's our main intention, and, and, and that's pretty much what I have. I hope you guys are enjoying this webinar, which is a very useful. Take advantage of this, uh, you know, this promotion that we have, and, and then continue on. Uh, Clara? Okay, thank you, Frank. Well, now we've we've um we're at our live Q and A session. Okay, if you have a question, guys, and please don't be shy. You have Sharon all to yourself right now. Okay, so make sure you guys are asking those questions, uh, in the Q and A or in the chat if that's easier. Uh, you guys can go ahead and add that now, and um, just to start us off though. A question that did come up was, uh, Sharon, did this for you, how long will it take me to learn modules in QuickBooks Online? Like how long would that take for me to learn this uh, system if I'm switching over from desktop or if I'm doing it for the first time? What guess, do you think? I get that question every day, every day. Mm -hmm. It's like anything else. What you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. Um, when I begin training a client, you know, we start with baby steps and we take one step at a time. At the end of each training session, the client is given homework. So it could be, for an example, let's just say that we're covering accounts receivable today, and, um, you know, on a training session. So the client's homework would be to, once they sh were shown how to create invoices and get them in the system, that would be what they were doing, um, you know, until the next session. It really depends on the individual person themselves. It depends on the size of the business. Mm -hmm. Depends on the quantity of work that's involved. You know, a smaller business has less to do. They're going to have a smaller homework assignment and cover more areas like in each session. But typically, Usually within three two-hour sessions, um, they're up and running 100%. In between, they're reaching out to me. I invite all mm -hmm. of my clients to call me in between. Okay. Over a section, you're not sure, you get stuck, you pick up the phone and call me. I get you going again until you get on to the next you know, point of what you're learning. So if you put your work into it and you do your homework, <laughs> you're going to learn, you know, because practice makes perfect. And when we give homework assignments, it's repetitive work, entering all of your invoices, setting up your item list, you know, going through it, making sure everything is two-sided for safety. Mm -hmm. um, 
entering all of your bills, whatever, you know, the, uh, the training session involved. And if you're doing it over and over and over and over again, you're going to learn it quicker, mm -hmm. be up and running quicker. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. It's about perfect. six hours, I would say, you know. Perfect. And then um, overall, what, what do you think the major difference is between QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online? Like if someone's switching from QuickBooks Desktop and is maybe scared of taking that leap because of the learning curve and things like that, what do you think? Um, just to take that fear away, you know, because maybe once you know the difference, it's like, oh, it might not be that bad, you know? Well, mm -hmm. something that I tell clients all the time is that if you go with QuickBooks Online Advanced, you have the ability to install an app. And the app will give you an icon. For those of you that have QuickBooks desktop right now, you know how you have that little green circle that you click on to open it? You'll get this app that will, it's a black circle instead of a green one. You'll click on it, QuickBooks will open. And the appearance of it is almost identical to desktop. So by going with QuickBooks Online Advanced, you have the advantage uh, of feeling like you're almost in the same environment. Fear, okay. You know, mm -hmm. of the world now, everything is in the cloud. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of advantages to being in the cloud. You no longer have to worry about file corruption. You don't have to worry about the file crashing because it's on a safe and secure cloud server. Mm -hmm. You can get to it from anywhere. So how many of you, if you're in New York and you get snowed in or you're somewhere here in the mm -hmm. Northeast and you get snowed in, you can still work from your home computer. You can work from, you know, your phone or your tablet. So it'll, it, it prevents you from not being able to go forward in the world. And, you know, really everything is cloud-based nowadays. I can't remember the last time that I purchased software and got a disk. It doesn't even exist anymore. Absolutely, you know? yeah. About it. Absolutely. Um, Office 365, you know, that's a great mm -hmm. example. We no longer install a disk, you know, we just go on, we subscribe, and it's done. A lot of advantages. I mean, truly a lot of advantages to go to the online version. And a lot of automation that mm -hmm. was clunky in the past. You know, reconciling is a great example, mm -hmm. automated, and it's clean. And if it's set up correctly, it's done and it's accurate. You yeah. have the ability, if you have, um, you know, if you're in desktop, eh, the highest you can get with QuickBooks Premier is a five user. If you have an accountant that's going into your QuickBooks that maybe is remoting in, that's one user right there. So now you only have four, right? So you're down to four users. You're, you could be strangled by that. When you're in QuickBooks Online, depending on the level that you have, whether it's you know a, a plus, which is also five users, or advanced, which is many, many more, I think it's 25 users, you get two additional seats for your accountants. So there's no more having to worry about having a, a seat for your accountant. Mm -hmm. If you have a bookkeeping company, like, you know, my company, we do books for clients. You mm -hmm. have a paper and you have your accountant and it doesn't affect your day-to-day -day operational users. And that's pretty much like a freebie that they give you. Wow, that's great. Thank you for sharing that, Sharon. Thank you. And guys, we're, we're getting close. To, we're at the two o'clock mark. So I want to make sure the people that stay, they get their special gift today. Guys. <laughs> All right. As a thank you guys for everyone who attended the webinar. Sharon is offering a one hour free consultation or training, guys, or training. So you can sit down and discuss whatever you guys need help with, or if there was a module you guys were interested in learning more about, or just learning more about her uh, bookkeeping services and training, guys, make sure you take advantage of this. If you happen to call in, you can mention the code OIS webinar just so she knows that you attended the webinar. Absolutely. Right? And it's, again, it's super easy. You guys can just fill out the form. I posted it in the webinar chat again, and I'm going to be sharing this because we're going to be following up with the people that attended. You're going to be getting an email 
uh, because this is only available to the people that attended today, guys. So uh, make sure, again, you get that form link and you guys fill out. And then as soon as you guys fill that out, then we'll make sure Sharon gets that so her team can reach out to you, okay? All right. So and I bring some, that. something up to everyone. Um, we, work very, we work very strictly on privacy. So feel free if you decide, you know, you have questions, whatever it may be, feel free um, once you call me to submit a non-disclosure document. I will sign it and get it back to you before we even get started. Privacy is very, very important. So just keep that in mind. Great point. Great point. Absolutely respect your privacy. Perfect. Okay, and now, guys, if you were interested in connecting with the speakers, you guys can connect or have had a question. You guys, you guys can email them or you guys can call them on the phone or you guys can even do something better. Connect with them on LinkedIn, guys. Make sure you're getting these connections and you never know when you're going to need them. So make sure you look them up on LinkedIn. You can, um, it's at Oscar Guerrero and at Sharon Michalowicz. Uh, and just uh, make those connections with them, okay? And then, guys, that's all for today. I know we went two minutes over the hour, but, guys, we did it as, you know, we made sure you got all the information you needed, okay? So, again, we want to thank everyone for attending this webinar today. Sharon, Oscar, Jamie, Frank, all the OIS customers who attended. And we want to let you guys know that we're going to continue to make more webinars like this, right? Because we want uh, your business to succeed. So keep a heads up for the upcoming webinars. And just to let you know, the last webinar, um, let me see, somebody raised their hand. Hold on one second. We have an attendee that raised their hand. Did they have a question? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. As Osvaldo, if you have a question, just make sure you send it in and then I'll make sure that you we get you the answer to that question, okay? If you had a question, just make sure you put it in the chat. All right, but um, as I was saying, the last webinar we had with our partners was uh, we partnered with True Commerce that uses electronic data interchange, which is EDI, to offer an easy way to exchange key order documents between you and your trading partners automatically. This creates greater visibility and efficiency for your wholesale distribution business. So if you missed that, we have it on our website. I'm going to add the link now. Uh, or you can go to our YouTube page, too. We have uh, recordings of our webinars there. And that's it, guys. That's all for today. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, and we'll see you in the next webinar. Bye, guys.